Imagine waking up to find that your website's traffic has plummeted overnight. Scary, right? Well, I'm going to show you how to find the reasons behind these traffic drops. And sometimes the reason is not just an algorithm update. So let's grab the detective hat and get started. Uh, wrong hat, give me a second. Let's get started by addressing the elephant in the room, algorithm updates. Google uses a bunch of algorithms and ranking factors to decide the order in which websites show up in search results. And sometimes Google makes updates to these algorithms provoking a seismic shift in how pages rank. It's like Google changes the rules in the middle of the game. Why does this matter to you? Well, if your traffic goes down, you see reports of other people complaining about losing traffic and SEO tools report higher volatility in rankings, you are almost certainly getting hit by an update. This does not happen because you did something wrong. Instead, it may be that your site doesn't match the new rules as well as it did before. Fortunately, if you use SEO testing, we show these confirmed algorithm updates on the graphs, which will give you historical context about traffic fluctuations. Another common reason for lost traffic is when a competitor starts ranking higher than you. It's like both of you are in a race and the competitor overtakes you, taking away the spotlight and the clicks. In the online world, the competition never rests and it's all about who shows up first on Google. When your traffic drops and you don't find it was due to an algorithm update, it's time to check the SERP to see what's going on. If your rankings dropped below competitors, roll up your sleeves and investigate what they did to get the rankings and traffic back. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing. Our goal at SEO testing is to save you time so you spend less time pulling data into Excel and more time thinking about how to get more traffic from Google. Also, if you enjoy this content and want to see more like it, please leave a comment. Now, back to the video. Your website is like a storefront on a busy street, but if the door's broken or malfunctions, people won't be able to get in. The same goes for your website. When there are technical issues, like slow loading pages or broken links, it's like having a wonky door that won't open properly. People will get frustrated and leave. Or worse, Google might drop your rankings or remove you from the index. That's why if you see traffic and rankings dropping, it may be worth using tools like Screaming Frog or Sitebulb to spot any technical problems with your site. As a free alternative, you can use Google Search Console to check some issues with your website. Google Search Console is also useful to check if your site was hit by a manual penalty. Google uses automatic systems to rank your website in search results, but sometimes they take a closer look and take manual actions if they believe a website is not playing by their rules. This could happen if Google's team thinks you have tried to game their system or have a spammy website. When you get a manual penalty, Google might lower your site's rankings or even remove it from search results until you fix the issues. Check the Google Search Console Manual Actions tab to see if your site is affected by any manual action. Do you see people play ice hockey in the summer or playing golf in the winter? The answer is likely no, because certain things are popular at certain times of the year, but less popular at others. When you see your traffic going down, it's good to think about the season you are in, as you could be reaching the off-season. Understanding this could help you plan better and not worry when the numbers change across the year. And it's always a good idea to look at past year's numbers or services like Google Trends to see if it is indeed seasonality causing the drop. In some rare cases, you might log in to your analytics tool and see things are slower than usual. This can happen when the tools you use to track website traffic, like Google Analytics, have a glitch or a setup error. You might think, oh no, fewer people are visiting my site. But in reality, it could be just that the data isn't being recorded or reported correctly. When this is the case, fix the setup error or wait for the reporting errors to go away. There's no need to panic over a false alarm. And speaking of tools that will help you stay calm and make good decisions, here is how SEO testing can help you. First, you can use the different filter views to help you know how things are performing on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. Second, the dashboard shows confirmed Google updates, which helps you remember and give context about traffic progress. Then we also have the Content TK report, which shows you on a monthly basis which pages are losing traffic since their last 12 months peak. This will make it easier for you to know which pages you should focus on to recover the traffic. Fourth, 
SEO testing also has the brand versus non-brand report that shows the progress of branded and non-branded traffic. If you feel ready to get this and a lot more, we have a 14-day free trial for you to test SEO testing. Sign up using the link in the description. Thanks for watching.